Kirsten Cinema wants something, I guess, with the reconciliation bill. She's not being very clear about exactly what that is. So we're sort of taking whatever we can, whatever background, like inside information about it, you know, since she's stopping the whole thing. And so we found out last week, actually, at the end of it, that she was against $100 billion in climate resiliency funding, basically to help fight against climate change, in particular, to help marginalized communities in areas that will be harder hit by the effects of a changing climate, prepare for it. She had a problem with that. I had a problem with her for that, but don't worry. She now says that's not the case. Her office said that they denied reports that she wants at least $100 billion in climate programs cut. One of her comms workers said, neither Senator Cinema nor our office have requested or demanded such cuts, nor have we ever heard of any such demands. Once again, the New York Times relies on an anonymous source and gets it flat wrong. Do better. Yes, please, comms guy for Kirsten Cinema, tell us about how we're not doing our job. But I will say, Sabrina, um, maybe one of the reasons people are going with uh, information that might not be perfectly sourced, or let's keep it real. They could just be lying about not requesting those things. I don't I don't give her a single inch of faith um, is because she won't answer any questions. She won't say what she's for or against. Even in that, she doesn't say. Yeah, it's talk to your constituents, listen to them, but talk to them at least say say something, give some give some reasoning. Um, and and it does seem so weird that like you know she used to be a, a greenie right and now yeah. all of a sudden she seems like she's all for you know if you're gonna cut something cut some climate action or or at least that's that's all we have to go off of right now um yeah, yeah. no idea where she is anymore yeah and look she may say I'm not specifically requesting those hundred billion dollars be cut but she is requesting trillions be cut from it so. What do you what do you think that's going to be? Those are going to be programs. Why won't you at least have the courage to identify what you're standing against or the implications of your obstruction? Anyway, maybe we'll find out after the race. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.